Right ho, welcome to another episode. So this week we're looking at sorting out this situation up here. So we've got all these paint cans, other products and stuff that are just floating up here on the shelf, collecting dust, hard to get to anything up there. And um, yeah, gonna make a nice little drawer for them, little pull out section underneath the bench top here. So let's get into it. Right, oh, so first things first, set up the track saw attachment on the circular saw so I can start ripping down some boards. So here I'm just marking out where the runners are actually going to sit. So I've just got like the biggest thing that I thought I'd put in these drawers just as a bit of a reference. So I'm going to screw these runners on before I actually make the unit. So that'll make it a bit easier for me to actually install because it's a bit of a narrow drawer so can't really get the drill in there easily so this will alleviate any lining up issues later. After the runners are on, it's as simple as just screwing the four panels together and make a simple box. Next I had to cut all the pieces for the slimline drawers, so there's obviously some skinny pieces here that I can't really cut straight off the bat with the circular saw, so I made a bit of a contraption on my old circular saw just to uh, rip down these little bits of timber, so yeah, maybe don't try this one at home. So a table saw definitely would have been handy for that, but we make do with what we got. So after it's all cut up, knock it all together. And if you're wondering what those tall sections are for, it'll make sense towards the end of the video, but essentially one is to hold the draw face onto and the other one will be like a little bit of a handle. So anyway, stay tuned to the end and you'll uh, see it all work together. So here I thought I'd get a bit fancy and instead of just having all the cans just flopping around all inside the drawer. I actually wanted to make a little, I guess you call it like a holder for them all. So I'm just gonna make this little plate that I'll screw in and they'll all just sit inside a little hole. Oh. And couldn't help myself but to give it a lick of paint, so. And while I was waiting for the paint to dry, thought I'd put the other side of the runners onto the drawers themselves. And uh, yeah, see if she's all fits. Now I just screw these inserts in and uh, she's good to go. So I'm not using glue on these just in case I um, get over the fact that I have to put them in the holes. So yeah, if I don't like it, I can just pop them back out. Now for the easy bit, I'll just screw the unit in, then pop the drawers in and we can start working on the drawer front itself. So like I've done for the rest of my drawers, I'll drill a couple of holes in the drawer unit itself, stick a few screws through it just so they're just poking out, line it up with the door when it's sitting in place, give it a bit of a kick, find the little dents that the screw holes made on the inside. And uh, yeah, that's what I'll line it up with when I screw it back in. Next I put the handle on, and then Bob's your uncle. She's all done. Right, oh, another thing ticked off the list. So, hope you enjoyed that episode. Uh, for those of you who hung around this long, cheers for watching and uh, hope to see you on the next one. So until then, keep having a crack. See you on the next one. Cheers.